Right, make a quick little video here for Maca 707 Kermit. Um, so he's having some issues with clutch, so I figured some other people might um, might be able to use some um, insight from this. Let me just quickly, we'll use this cart. Um, use this little car I have here. Um, it functions pretty well. Uh, so let's just get in this and uh, we'll go. So this is something I'm working on for a container mover. But um, so anyways, uh, this is the engine, put it in first gear here, um, parking brakes off. So it's going to auto clutch. Um, so if I start pressing up a W, you'll hear the uh, engine revs up, it automatically clutches. All right, and it runs. All right, then if I, so now it's going, if I upshift. All right, so now if I, um, let go of the thrust and so now uh, we're stopped right so essentially this is doing an up and down counter on the thr on the um, clutch so if I'm not pressing up on the throttle so two conditions need to be made to increase clutch I need to increase the throttle and I also need to um, be above um, in this case I think it's 5 RPS so essentially uh, an RPS on the motor high enough that it's not going to stall on the down or the up down counter if it goes below that 5 rps it starts to decrease the clutch so you know if for those who've never driven a manual car before that's feathering the clutch so if you give it um, if you're not if the engine's not spinning fast enough and you start to put in too much clutch you're going to stall the engine so if you push the clutch back in you start to remove some of that pressure on it um, you can feather that clutch and get going so again we'll listen to it so as you can see, revs up the engine and it applies the clutch automatically. Uh, we started that in second gear, um, which is a higher gear. So it required a little bit more RPS probably. So as you can see, this allows us to go, you know, we'll just go uh, high speed in this. Um, what are we going here? I haven't connected up the MPH, but uh, so we'll go back in the microcontroller and we'll look at this and we'll see how you do this. All right, so let's actually look in the microcontroller here. Um, this one's a little bit cleaner than some of my other ones, I think. Um, all right, so let's look at how we do the clutch. So this is automatic clutching, and so it's it's actually pretty simple. Um, what you want to do here is you want to use an up-down counter. So I have everything tucked away here. As you can see, all my lines are parallel just to make it clean. But um, So this is the up-down counter. All right, so let's look at the up-down counter. So this is the up-down counter for the clutch. Um, the increment really you can tune this um, that I end up tuning quite a bit so if it's if it's adding clutch taking clutch off adding taking it off adding taking it off adding taking it off adding taking it off um, you're adding the clutch too fast you're stalling and because you're stalling you're having to then remove some clutch so it's essentially like you dropping the clutch pulling the clutch all the way out giving a hundred percent clutch and then you have to put in clutch because you stalled it so if you decrease this increment that's going to slow down the amount of time it takes to put in the clutch um, so it's at 0 .002 so for every click of this and here it's increasing 0 .002 until it gets up to one so what's that that would be uh, 50 presses alright so how do I do the math move the decimal place uh, one two three um, and then uh, so that's two divided in half so that would be a hundred divided in half is fifty so that's fifty presses of this up to get the clutch at a hundred percent alright so now let's say that was too fast right um, we could cut this number in half here and we could make it point zero zero one and now it's gonna take a um, hundred presses so it'll take us twice the amount of time to increase that clutch so you can tune your clutch to be faster or slower so you're not stalling but ideally, once you get up to, you know, operating speed, you want to be 100% clutch. So um, going from there, reset value is zero. Uh, clamp enabled, so zero is no clutch, one is 100% clutch. All right, so let's look at how this works. Um, it's really pretty simple. So the first thing is, how do we automatically make this increase clutch? All right, so if we look, uh, we're going to go... Now uh, let's try to find the beginning here. Okay, so here's the beginning. All right, so let's go. This add here is just moving a number. So here's RPS. So I moved RPS down. So we're taking RPS. 
So if RPS in this case is greater than 6 RPS, um, and and if we look over here, uh, this right here is our is our um, where the where the hell is that going there? Let me try to find it really quick here. That's greater than I've got everything tucked away. That's why it's like this. Okay, so this is our throttle here. So there's two conditions we want to increase clutch. One, we want to make sure we have enough RPS. In this case, greater than six. It could be lower. I just pick six. I like six for this particular car. If the RPS is greater than 6, and I'm actually asking to go forward. So here's my seat. My seat is reading uh, the 2, which is WS. I just have it multiplied by 20, which gives me, um, so at 1, which is maximum W pressed, that gives me 20, which then I feed in to do RPS. So it's giving me a maximum value of, R of 20 RPS. And as you can see, I clamped at 20 RPS. Um, so if I'm asking for a throttle, so if um, my throttle is, um, where is it here, greater than zero. So I'm asking to go forwards. If my throttle is greater than zero and my RPS is greater than six, I'm going to press the up key. So I'm going to start to increase clutch automatically. Now, if the RPS is not greater than 6, I want to decrease this. So that's like if you're stalling the engine. So let's say we start to add it in slowly and we start to decrease our RPS too much below 6. It's going to back it up. So if you heard it goes on and then it goes clutch, it goes clutch in, clutch out, clutch in, clutch out, clutch in. That's called feathering. It's going to automatically feather the clutch until it has 100% clutch. All right, now this condition here, the reset. So um, there's a couple conditions here. One is start. So on start, I don't want any clutch. All right, and then the other condition here is I have a, an up-down counter, so I can go reverse. Zero is neutral. So I've decided to put a neutral in this vehicle. So if it's either in neutral or it's um, starting, I want zero clutch because I don't want to try to start it with the engine engaged. All right. So let's go back out to the vehicle and let's see how that works. All right, let's actually do this real quick. Let's take a dial. All right, we're gonna put the stick, jam this dial somewhere in here. Right there is good. All right, and we're gonna connect this dial here to the clutch um, from the microcontroller right there. Okay, so the clutch goes to the dial. So let's watch our clutch. You can see visually what it's doing. All right, so let's jump in here. So let's look at the dial. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start the engine. I'm going to put it in first gear. Again, remember zero will make no clutch. So watch. If I put it in zero for neutral, I can rev up. There's my tack. No clutch. All right, so let's bring it back down. Now let's go into first. All right, now I'm not at, so it might be above six RPS right now. All right, um, what's that? Divided by 60, I doubt that's 6 RP, 6 times 6, so it would have to be 360. So 360 RPM is going to be um, 6 RPS. So it won't start adding any clutch until 360 RPM. And I have to have my foot on the pedal. So here we go, watch. I'm going to put my foot on the pedal by pressing the W key. That tack's going to come up. Now watch the right side as I keep my, as I hover over the tack. And you notice around 360, it starts to add clutch. Now you notice it goes clutch in, clutch out, clutch in, clutch out, clutch in, clutch out. It's auto feathering the clutch, so let's watch it. All right, so see how it's up. Oh. Okay, so see, that's perfect, I stalled it. I forgot to take the parking brake off. So watch what it does. Now listen for the stall. See how it automatically reduces the clutch? So it doesn't, so it tries not to stall the engine. All right, so now let's take off the parking brake. Now let's go. So watch above 360 uh, RPM. And notice it's going to keep increasing that clutch till it's 100%. Clutch is at 100%. And now we're at full clutch. Now watch when I shift. Stays in one because we have enough RPM. Stays because we have enough RPM. Okay. So that's the auto clutch. If uh, you need any more help, let me know. Uh, I just figured a bunch of people probably have issues with clutching, and uh, that might help. Thanks for watching.